The sweet midge is a small little insect that is wreaking havoc in the vegetable industry. Uh, it's an insect that goes to brassica or crucifer crops, that's cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, canola, and the like. Um, it originated from, from Europe, and it came over into North America probably about 1996. It was first confirmed up in Canada in 2000. And uh, I work in New York, and we knew that it was just right across Lake Ontario, and we would probably get it. So we've developed a very strong monitoring and survey program for Swede Midge. And, uh, you know, we also want to know, okay, we've got it, what can we do with it? So we've developed uh, management programs, primarily looking at uh, a whole host of different control tactics. One of the best control tactics is actually rotating out of crucifers. Because this insect uh, only feeds on crucifers, if at the end of the season, uh, when it pupates in the soil, it goes into its resting stage in the soil, if at the end of the season uh, you disc up your crop and in the following year plant a non-host crop like sweet corn or beans or something like that, it surprises the insect because when they come out of hibernation, all of a sudden they're looking for some crucifers to lay their eggs on and if there's only sweet corn or beans around, that will break their life cycle. So crop rotation is, is the chief control tactic. Um, we also look at other aspects like, we haven't found anything really good for biological control, but that's still in the works. But we do have some chemicals that will also uh, work very effectively against Swede midge. And uh, so a combination, first of all, of rotating out of crucifers and then uh, using uh, insecticides in a judicious manner, we can probably keep it under, under control. Um, it is a growing problem. When we found it first in New York in 2004, um, 10 years later it spread to pretty much all of the counties in New York State. So Swede Midge had recently been found in Michigan and we expect that uh, it will start spreading there as well, but the best way of doing it is to try and prevent it from first of all showing up into new areas in Michigan by not using transplants that may have the Swede Midge already on them and uh, in areas where it is being found uh, use crop rotation and judicious use of insecticides. That'll be the main way you can try and control it, but it will continue to be uh, to spread through Michigan, uh, but we need to try and delay that and prepare the Michigan growers to, to deal with Swede Midge because it will be around for a while.